we're going to do Higgs decomposition on good X. All right, why is that so? Uh, well, I'm going to leave uh, good Y as an exercise to you guys. Uh, there is no specific reason. So, once again, the price of good X is decreases to a dollar. Well, then the demand for good X will change. And the question is, what's the Higgs decomposition? Uh, I mean, uh, what is the income effect and the substitution effect according to Higgs? The reason for this is I just want to compare the Higgs decomposition and the uh, Slutsky decomposition. Um, and so for that reason, I'm going to do the decomposition for good X. Uh, that's why. And here, if you remember the substitution effect, size was 12, income effect was zero. Um, I believe it's going to be the same uh, for the Higgs, uh, but uh, the, the, our approach is going to be different. All right, so first of all, let's remember the theory of Higgs decomposition. So according to Higgs, so once again, we have a budget curve. So this is income divided by PX initial, and then the price of good X uh, declines, income divided by PX final. So this is the final budget curve, but we then calculate the optimal demands Oops, I'm sorry, this should be tangent. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, so this is uh, 16 units. This is uh, four units. I am still using the Marshallian demands to find or to calculate the initial demand and the final demand, okay? So, however, when I determine this XA term, now I'm going to use the idea of Higgs, uh, the Higgs decomposition is, is, is going to uh, work differently. How so? Well, uh, Higgs says the following. Look, this was the original point, original consumption bundle, seven good Y, four unit of good X. So let's calculate the utility at that level. Utility seven, four. And this is my U bar. All right. So what I want to do, I want to calculate the new optimal point. Uh, I want to calculate the Hicksian demand for good X and demand for good Y, uh, which minimizes the expenditure, obviously, and achieves the utility exactly U bar. All right. Under the new... Professor, it's utility 47, I think, not 74. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, your ex <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry. So uh, the x is four and y is seven. So this is my u bar. So let me repeat. Thank you very much. So uh, the the Higgs says, well, I'm going to keep this utility level the same, u bar. All right. But I would like to calculate the optimal bundle x and y. Uh, which minimizes the expenditure, but keeps the level of utility the same. And so once I find this X and Y, the difference in, in the X's or the Y's should be because of this substitution effect. Why it is substitution effect? Well, I'm not keeping the income fixed here, right? I mean, I, I don't really talk about income here at all. What I'm talking about is the utility. Level. So the utilities are the same, but what I'm doing is that the the price ratio are different. Uh, I'm sorry, the, I'm using the final price ratio. So under the new price ratio, uh, let's see, it's, it's a red line. So it's gonna look something like this. The reason it is parallel to the, this black line is because I'm using the price ratio one to eight, all right? So it's basically minus one over eight, uh, ex exactly like this one, minus one over eight. This one is minus two over eight because the price of good X is equal to two. So I'm going to keep this uh, uh, slope, um, but I would like to achieve exactly U bar utility level. So that means I'm going to find somewhere here X, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, XM. I don't know, I'm just making up. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't call it M because I used M as an income. Let's call it XA again. 
So I'm going to find this Xa, but this Xa is going to be coming from the Higgs decomposition, right? Because I am finding the uh, optimal X and Y uh, such that I, I achieve exactly U bar level of utility. So what is this Xa? Well, it's going to be price of good Y divided by 4px square. Uh, but this is the final price square. Okay, so if, oh, this is PY square. I don't even copy the same thing. All right, so if you do this, uh, you don't really need to calculate U bar in this example, because as you see, the uh, X component doesn't depend on U bar, only Y component depends. And this is probably why in this question, I ask decomposition for good Y, not X. But again, I, I just wanted to do the same thing for good X just to make a comparison between the Higgsian and the Slutsky decomposition. So if you do this, uh, well, you have to have exactly the same level of uh, Xa, which should be 16, right? Py squared, which is 64, divided by four times Px final square, which is one square. So it's 16. And again, once again, I mean, Xa minus X initial is going to give me the substitution effect. And then X uh, final minus Xa should give me the income effect. So in this question, the substitution effect is again uh, 12 because this is 16, this is 4, and so it's 12. But the income effect is 0 very much similar to the Slotsky decomposition, all right? So that means, that's it, by the way. Uh, the, this is the uh, Higgsian decomposition. But once again, uh, the reason why we have this uh, uh, substitution and income effect identical in both Higgsian and, and Slotsky decomposition is simply because the Marshallian demand doesn't depend on income. And the Higgsian demand doesn't depend on the U bar, the utility level. If they were, which is the case in Y good, for example, well then Higgs decomposition, uh, I mean the substitution effect and the income effect would be different in the Slutsky decomposition. Uh, but for good X, they are the same. Um, 